Immortals! I am Jensen, welcome back to Deltarune Chapter 2. In the previous episode, I have no idea what we were doing. We were doing a bunch of voices and everything has gone horribly wrong. We've been kidnapped. I've also been spitballing. Thank you for the flex, it was greatly appreciated. Here you go. One more! One more little bargain flex, only one side. Hi me. Yes, hello dog shark. So, we pretty much uh, completely 100% of the room that we were just in. We've been kidnapped. We've been kidnapped by the Queen. Child's play! Couldn't you give me a harder one? For example, if anyone had a 4x4 puzzle cube! Just tell us the solution! Well, haha! Ah, uh, you see! First, you. You align the shadows with the lines on the floor! Alright, what do we move first? Um. Chris, just do the puzzle. Just, just give me a moment! It's not like Chris could even solve it anyway! Wow, this guy is an absolute asshole. Is this like uh, Laszlo's hierarchy of needs? How do I rotate? No, that's B. Ah, here we go. There we go. We'll put that one there. Whoops, that's <laughs> again rotate. God, I need the controls uh, in front of me at all times, right? Oops. <laughs> uh, that looks about right to me. Let's put that one there. This one here could probably go up in this corner. Oh, for God's sake. The hardest part of this puzzle is the goddamn controls. And... Whoops. <laughs> I see. I see the issue now. Okay. Let's put this one here. And this one here can stay... There. Where it belongs. I think that green one can stay there. This yellow one can go down a bit. There we go. Whoops. Looks like Chris got to it again. What? Wait! WAIT JUST A SECOND! YOU CAN'T HAVE! YOU JUST GOT LUCKY! IT'S JUST TRIAL AND ERROR! THE BRUTE FORCE METHOD! Uh, A CAVEMAN CAN DO IT! EXCEPT CAVEMAN DIED OUT BECAUSE THEY'RE STUPID! I'M SOLVING THE NEXT ONE, SO JUST STAY HERE UNTIL I'M DONE! What a wanker. He's actually a wanker. Birdly is not smart. No, he is not, is he? He's really insecure, I feel. Yeah, like we're gonna wait that long. Birdly is probably the biggest dick of the game so far. Like, we've had some big dicks in Chapter 1, but Birdly is just like a tiny little thunder thimble at this point. What are you two doing here? This one's mine! It'll be over in a second, so why don't you just relax in your mind palace? Which probably doesn't even have anything in it! It's not supposed to, is it? I just need to figure out why the shapes don't go together. Oh, hey, you just gotta fill the whole square thing, right? What if you just piled them all in the corners? Like digging a really wide hole! Wha- What? Chris, wanna try? I mean, no, I don't, <laughs> but I'll do it. Okay, and this one is kind of like a, a weird wiggly wave surf thing, right? Where would this one possibly go? Probably like, maybe here? Maybe here? Yeah. I feel like that's right. And this one here. What, they are all weird shapes, actually. I gotta go with Birdly on this one. No cap. It's a little bit silly, isn't it? A little bit silly, all these shapes. Okay, we'll rotate this one. Whoops. And that can go there. And this uh, bird right here, that we are going to orient upwards, can go smack dab in the middle. There we go. I can't believe that actually worked. Now that you get to see his story, shine the blue bird at Birdly. Almost. Almost it. Susie! The idea works! There's... There's no way! It's a computer bug! A glitch! You're cheating! Just like when you wave dash! Ah, how's that taste, idiot? Man, I'm gonna relish this forever! All those times you acted so high and mighty! Well, guess what? You're not! Face it! You're just as big a dumbass as the rest of us! Yeah! Yeah, this is sad. Don't worry, we'll do the blue bird thing in the, in the next pacifist playthrough through that we get through. Fine! I admit it! I... I'm not that smart! I never was! There! Are you happy?! I... I... I just... 
I used to be a forgettable little bluebird. No one even remembered my name. Then one day came the spelling bee Noelle and I studied for. When it came down to the two of us, she got nervous and couldn't speak. December, okay, it was missing an M, wasn't it? When we were going through all the traps in the previous episode. She lost. Oh my god, this is all projection! This is all projection from every person, like every actual person from the light world who is coming into this area. That was when I tasted it! The praise, the glory, the superiority! The adaptive power of being smart! Since then, year after year, I've been number one in the class! But it's only because Noelle helps me study! She's the real smart kid! But everyone's uh, expectations for me are so high now! What I am going to do when I go somewhere without her! That's... that's why I wanted to make a new world... for us. A world where we'll always be number one and number two! Which we are currently being forced to experience in the dark world right here against our consent. No one else wants the side plot, right? No one else actually wants to be a part of the side plot. But Birdly has forced it on us to try and get Noelle to not want to be a part of our friend group, right? Birdly is a possessive dick who feels um, just completely alone and incomplete when Noelle is not near him. I feel like that is actually what we're being told right here. But I was so wrapped up in that, I got tricked by Queen. I don't know who Queen is, though. I don't know who uh, Queen's supposed to represent. And now, Noelle is going to suffer because of it. Maybe I did just like being superior. Maybe I am just an idiot. Don't cry, chicken nugget man. All of us are idiots, too. Huh? I mean, like, I don't know about everyone else, but... Whether you're the smart kid or not, we couldn't care less. Screw up as much as you want, honestly. Isn't that like our opinion? Oh, Susie! <laughs> Queen is Queen. Queen is the main server of the computer lab in the library. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, actually, doesn't it? She's like the shush, stop, stop playing together kind of person. Susie! Susie, you, you accept me? Even if I'm dumb? <laughs> uh. Yeah? It's like when your sister gets cursed in Dragon Blazers 2. Even if her stats suck, she's still your party member. D Susie? A real Dragon Blazers 2 reference? Susie! You're not only kind, but a true gamer as well! Perhaps I underestimated you! Don't say that now. But worry not! I have decided! I will turn over a new life from now on and fight for the side of ignorance! We're not telling you to be stupid. Just sometimes it's okay to make mistakes. Ah, and make mistakes I will! Onward! Oh, oh, the screaming. Oh, this when he suddenly gets a crush on Susie. Yeah, it seems like a love triangle, doesn't it? Like, Susie likes Noelle, Noelle likes, uh... Susie being a gamer probably should have been brought up before now. It has been! Uh, her Google search um, showed that she plays Skate 3. And also that she's not very good at it, so she Googled cheats as well. Uh, why couldn't Relsie be here to teach the moral lesson? Because he doesn't exist! <laughs> Relsie doesn't exist! <laughs> He's a projection of our brother! What the hell is that thing? What the hell is that thing? This downstairs table will be for our special guests. There's a dinner party on the second floor for everyone else. Everything here is tailored for you, right? That actually confirms my theory, by the way. That one line of dialogue right here. Everything here is tailored for you, right? That confirms my theory that all of this is just an imagination being projected by um, a group of children. Relsi is real. Okay, like, Ralsei is in college, technically. 
But we're we're using Relsi's name in this world and the image of our brother in this world, right? I don't think anybody else knows who Relsi is. Or he could be a butler. Relsi? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. These two here, definitely butlers. Everything's also very stereotypical as well. Like what small towns would think that um, big concepts are. Like the big city, big flashing lights, car everywhere, stuff like that. Asriel is in college. Relsi is that soft boy. Asriel is also that soft boy. If Asriel is the uh, son of Goat Mother, Asriel looks exactly like Relsi. Relsi has not appeared in the light world at all. Relsi, to me, is just a projection of our brother that we miss in this world. The Prince of Darkness. It's, it, he, I think uh, Chris is the, is the Prince of Darkness, right? The Princess of Darkness. Asriel is not a soft boy. Have you seen him? Have you seen Asriel? But Chris, here's the thing, right? None of this, none of this happens without Chris. None of any of this happens without Chris. Even the uh, jail scene where Susie escapes does not happen without Chris. Also, Undertale does not happen without Chris. I accidentally saw that on the wiki as well. Actually, yes, we oh, we see him in this game. We actually see Asriel in Deltarune, do we? Confirm that for me. Confirm that for me. Do we actually see Asriel in Deltarune? And you haven't because you haven't played Undertale yet. No, in, in Deltarune. Deltarune is a sideline to Undertale. It's got nothing to do with the story. Deltarune is its own separate story made side by side, according to Toby Fox, the developer. That's what he's publicly said, and I've done a lot of research on him to get this game out of copyright hell. So, I don't think... I don't think that Relsi exists. I think Relsi is a projection of our imagination, and all of the evidence has just supported this in Deltarune. We have not seen him in Deltarune. Here we go! Here we go, guys! So he may turn up in Undertale, but Undertale is a completely different narrative. But it has the same characters? Yeah, it's a sidelined universe. It's it, like, it doesn't share the story, but it shares the characters, it shares the, the, the general kind of like feel and aesthetic, right? But that one line of dialogue right there, that just that just blew everything open. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Deltarune just, it doesn't happen. It's all just kind of like everyone in that classroom coming together. And I think in the future chapters, we're definitely going to see all of the other kids learning how to work together with the people that they clash with in the classroom. I think that's my prediction. Even though it's going to be years before the rest of the game gets made, maybe even a decade before the rest of Deltarune gets made, but the next chapter, we're going to see the same thing of the same classmates going in. They're going to see their surroundings. They're going to create this universe using the surroundings. They were going to generate from their own experiences, the world and the story that we are currently watching. And if it doesn't happen, why can you die there? You don't. You don't die. That's not canon. It's not canon that you die. Timmy and Edgar, wait, okay, I'll push through. The, that screaming. Relzy, I had to give my voice a bit of a, um, a break as well. Ugh, oh, um... You don't have to scream. Just because you like my outfit. <laughs> oh, Chris, Susie, um, help me I serve you. The hell are you doing? Um, Queen didn't have a room for me, so uh, she made me into one of her butlers instead. Whatever, Rousey, can you heal Lancer? Oh, oh. Uh, ha ha, it's gold. Susie. I'm afraid this is something I can't heal. What? Lancer is... Lancer? Lancer! Hey! You see, each dark fountain creates a different world. A world whose darkness reflects on the will of its fountain. But through those darkness can exist in their own worlds, they might not belong if they go to another one. That's oh, oh, that, yes, this again supports what I'm saying. Like every time kids play together, the story is different. When kids play together, they do not play the same narrative every single time, right? When when kids play together, it's a it's a different experience, a different adventure every single time. I had a hunch that Lancer would not last this uh, this entire chapter, and is not going to return in the future ones either. Chapter 3 and 4 are coming out soon? Yeah, definitely. There you have it, Relsi is the Prince of Darkness, he can go to another world. No, he can't! We can go to another world! We, Chris, are the Prince of Darkness, Relsi is in our head, and none of these adventures happen without us, Chris, which is why Relsi is going to be in every single one of these adventures. He will not die, he will not permanently abandon the party, none of this will happen, 
unless someone specifically says, no, I don't want Relsi here, then Relsi will disappear for the rest of that adventure. Chris is the knight. Chris is also the conduit for the story. They are the player's perspective. And if Relsi is here, Relsi is not somewhere else. Unless it's a different world, in which case he would be in college. Right? So, again, everything I'm seeing is literally just uh, Chris is the knight. Yeah, like, that's not spoilers to me. Chris is simply a conduit for the story. It's, it, it, uh, that's, uh, that's long and short of it, right? Chris, without Chris, you would not play this game. If Chris was not in this game, you would not know what Susie, Noelle, or Birdly do. You just don't know because it doesn't happen from your perspective. It just doesn't happen. Without Chris there, Relsi can't be there. Um, Lancer can't be there. I think, Su I think Lancer is Susie's imaginary, uh, imaginary friend, right? And now that Susie's playing with other people, they are kind of disallowing her to have the fantasy friends, and now they actually want her to contribute to the group, right? So I think that we are going to be the last person that has an imaginary friend of some sort. I th that's, that's going to be running, my running theory. It's going to be Relsi, and quite potentially he disappears when we see him at college. He's probably even going to update when we see him in college. No, Chris and the player are two separate entities. That's why he throws his soul in Chapter 1. Yeah, so the, the, the heart that we control is a separate entity. But again, without Chris, you do not play the game. If we are just the heart, we are only the fight scenes, which we never trigger because Chris cannot trigger them. It's like doing drugs, a total trip. It's, yeah, I mean, th I think that's what it is. I think it's literally just an acid trip from the perspective of uh, children finally becoming friends and finding common ground, you know, uh, uh, not being divisive. They're actually getting to know each other. They're liking each other and they're being good. Anyway, I've talked about this way too much. You all know my feelings. And everything that we've seen so far has only supported it. Like, you can tell me, what about your vessel? I don't even know what a vessel is. Is that an Undertale thing? Because that's not relevant to this game whatsoever. Uh, they are two completely separate games. Like, that has been very publicly stated by Toby Fox, the developer. Um, I, don't, I don't know what a vessel is. Okay, you explain that. I'll explain my perspective. Other than that, I'm just going to go on with uh, what we're seeing. And might not belong if they go to another one. So, can we help them? Yes, there is a way. Castletown's ground fountain is made out of pure darkness. If that is true, then Chris is a psychopath or a mute. Might actually be a mute, might be an orphan, which is why she's living with a different family. Like, that's... We just don't know her history because she won't speak. And because she won't speak, that's how I think she's going to maintain her relationship with her imaginary friend, Relsi, uh, until the end of the game. Potentially, unless it, people either try and snap her out of it or the real world brother comes back to roost. As long as it stays flowing, any Darkner can live there. So if we bring Lancer back to school, he'll be okay again. So we just need to get out of here, huh? Right. All right. Lancer, we'll be back for you, buddy. So we need to get Lancer out of this library that we are having our adventure in. And we need to go back to that, like, dirt, dark, dingy, eastern wing room in the school, right? And that is how we get it. Chris is gender neutral. Yeah, but I am a boy, so. A, 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 a player's perspective. It's, it's a male perspective, because I'm currently the one controlling the game. So if we get Lancer back to the dirty, dingy room where, us, where Susie and I had our adventure for the first time, Lancer comes back, because that is where Lancer lives. Now in the computer library, no one else was there for the adventures of Lancer. Lancer is no longer going to be perpetuated by everybody else uh, playing the games. Your friend, if we defeat the Queen, can we save him? Oh, great. Uh, yeah. With me out of the way, Queen is going to force Noelle to do our bidding. And if Noelle doesn't want to, she might make her face into a robot drone. Remember that Toby Fox strongly supports the LBTQ? I'm not even welcome in those circles. I'm a bisexual male. So I'm, I'm not welcome in LGBTQ communities because straight people say that uh, I'm a degenerate and uh, gay people say that I'm greedy. So <laughs> there's no winning. People, people like me don't apply to LGBT uh, communities. So again, player perspective is me, the male, the one holding the controller. If you guys held the controller, uh, the player's perspective would be you and your own life experience, but currently it is me also being, what? Uh, what do you mean? Like, did, the, the bisexual thing? Or is this just like, news? 
that bisexuals are not actually welcome in gay communities. Because I've never been welcome in a gay community before. I've got gay friends. I've got straight friends. I've got gay and straight friends. But I've never been welcome in a gay community, in uh, any kind of like... And I've never been in an inclusive community before. No one's ever welcomed me into it. With open arms. Uh, I've usually just been pushed out uh, because someone didn't like the fact that I was greedy or uh, a degenerate. You know, it, it sucks, but it is what it is. Susie! Could you assist me in saving Noelle? Huh? Me? I just can't do it by myself! But if you can help me! How can they be that they don't fit anywhere? It's, it's literally as simple as, like, everyone sees a bisexual as just, like, a greedy piece of garbage. Like, always competition. I am a demisexual, bisexual man. I'm very open about that. I wear it on my sleeve. And once people find this out, they either just, like, it goes over their head because they don't give a hoot, which is the best case scenario, or they just think of me as uh, more like the bisexual than the demisexual part. I mean, that's your experience? Yeah, it is my experience. It's been my lifelong experience across uh, the 30 years I've been on this earth, and it's, it's never changed. Let's see, I'm, I'm, I'm going to drop that topic now. But if you help me, I have a plan. A plan? I remember from Queen Sewer of this place. There's a secret shortcut on the third floor. While Chris is distracting the Queen, Susie will take the shortcut to reach Noelle and transfer her to me on the roof. From there, I'll bring her to a safe hiding spot, and together, we can all defeat the Queen! <laughs> Alright, sure, we'll give it a shot. Yeah! Most excellent! Then! I regret the choice, the... I regret the voice that I picked for him. See you on the roof, fellow agents! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Like, Susie's is fine. I can do Susie's uh, going on forever. This is safe now? Wonderful. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we're all together now. Lancer is uh, on hiatus. We're going to see him again. We are going to see him again, but we'll only see him again in the school and probably only with Susie. And Noelle. Possibly also with Noelle, because Noelle seems to go with whatever Susie is into it. Seven, I'll tell you the next steps of the secret boss. I'm probably not going to see the secret boss in this playthrough, but I will definitely go back for the secret boss for a kill and a pacify. So uh, we'll, do we'll just see how the story takes us now. Looking at these legs fills you with a certain power. Oh my god! Is that the queen? Jesus, there's a cafe here. What's in here? Welcome to Color Cafe. Let us warm your day. Sure, what are you selling, buddy? Uh, butt juice. Ooh, spaghetti code. Butt juice, short for butler juice. Okay, okay. That's an overpowered skill right there. Don't worry, it doesn't affect anything. Okay, good. Spaghetti code. Spaghetti woven by Master Coder's party. Plus 30 HP. It sucks. Unless it's 30 HP each. Armor resistance, have some bow tie. That's actually pretty damn good. We might get a couple of those. Royal pin. Oh, that's good. It's only a grant. I'm getting two of them. Good. Okay, we got two of those. Let's talk to him about ourselves. Ah, oh, forgive me for not introducing myself sooner, young masters. I am Swatch, our Lady Grace's head butler. When we are not attending to her needs, I and the Queen's other staff use this room as a humble yet colourful gift shop slash cafe. Please, shop to your heart's content. We are eager to serve your any wish. Okay, mission statement. Does a woman of our Lady Grace's calibre not deserve a coven of powerful men and women to dote upon her every movement? To have rap anthems written to her kindness, which are then bit crushed beyond recognition to make them more computer. To have melons smashed with karate chops repeatedly for no apparent reason. To have barrels thrown from the rafters and make us smash them all with karate chops before the timer runs out. But the barrels are full of melons and we have to smash those too. Yes, the answer is yes. That was unusually specific, wasn't, wasn't it? If you're not going to do the secret boss, mark an alternate save. Uh, it, you don't get like an end save though, right? Stola's voice? I don't know who Stola is. What about rules card? Rules? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with a guest of that moniker. Oh, wait, are you perchance referring to that unbearable, uh, unique man who barged in here and demanded to be made Butler Supreme? <sighs> I'm afraid that person is now banned from this establishment. I may have suffered injuries as a result of his, uh, rather swift ejection. Please do not mention him again. 
We are still cleaning up the worms he left on the floor. What about the outfit? Oh, my outfit, yes. The monochrome look is quite suitable, isn't it? It's not monochrome, buddy. It's got colors. It's got posted notes. Kind of looks like it was whipped up in a hurry, too. Black suit, colored glasses. Many people have failed to imitate this look. Some even going as far as to attempt to impersonate me in order to get the... Oh, never mind. Macaron? No, thank you. All right, thank you for the lore. Please come again. We'll be waiting for you with rose tinted glasses. Uh, okay. About this boss, is it missable? Is that the th is it missable? If you tell me if it's missable, I'll decide whether or not we'll go and see it. It's a door. Where will you go? Oh, we can go everywhere now. Wonderful. Sampton. 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 Spampton. Okay. It's a cybernated bookshelf. There is a book here about shortcuts that open up later. <laughs> it's a cybernetic bookshelf. There is a book here about shortcuts that open up later. Righty ho! Okay, so that's all about the uh, door that we have down there. Let's do a save real quick. Yes, you can miss the boss. Okay. Tell me the steps to get these secret items, and I'll get these secret items. But I won't, like, I won't spend hours trying to get these secret items if they're hard to get. I'll just, like, do something else. There is a painting here. Oh, hello there. I see you have escaped from your room units. Who can blame you for wanting to see my glorious mansion? You won't want to take your eyes off the beautiful art. We're not here to look at your stupid pictures. Oh, it was not a recommendation. It was just a warning to you, Lamar. You have to go back to the room of the save point? Okay, I'll do that. We're going back to the room of the save point. I'll do a second save. I'll do a second save. Right here. Uh, save to the second slot right there. Done. Are we happy? Then go to the trash zone via the portal door. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. It's a door. Where will you go? Trash zone, of course. Alright, I'm at the trash zone. Do we have to talk to this dickhead? What's up, dickhead? A funny little guy was looking for you in the west. He was muttering something about deals. Okay, looks like we're going west. Uh, that looks like Lancer. It was a pop-up. Okay, okay. Then walk all the way to the left. Okay, gotcha. Let's kill these pop-ups. Boom, boom, boom. Upper GX! <laughs> you get it? Because we're, uh, we're we're killing the pop-ups? Ah, oh, damn it. This one's actually unusually difficult. Okay, now we kill the mouse. Boom, boom, boom. I think the mouse is the only one that I've struggled with so far. We got 170, uh, 157 buckery boost for that. I went east. Yes, I did. I did. Uh, I need to, like, figure out my directions a lot easier. What the hell is this? What the hell is all this? Uh. Oh, is this his trash pile? The door is unlocked. What? You want to go in by yourself? Whatever. Do what you want. Hey, everybody! It's me! Spamton G! Spamton! Okay, buy more. That's so funny, I'm watching uh, Chuck. Hey, Jen. Uh, deal's so good I'll something myself. Oh my god, I- sorry, just over my shoulder it says, uh, deal's so good I'll do something to myself. Right, right over there, right? But it looks like piss. Deal's so good I'll piss myself. You've got to buy the key gen. Okay, I'll buy the key gen. What else is he selling? Key gen, okay, uh... Do we have to, like, wait until it's 700 bucks or something? Oh, there's 19 there. We'll go- we'll do it when it's really cheap. Got it. 36 bucks, I'm happy with that. Delicious chroma. Okay, uh, we could probably also get this S potion, but I don't really want it. What about the big one? Jesus! Cut anything to pieces. Criminal. Is it- is it just me, or is this thing, like, super OP? Oh well, I bought it. I bought it. Everything else is a scam? Okay. Are you sure? What about a big shot bow tie? Deal so good I'll piss myself! Our deal. Chris, you little sponge! I knew you'd come here on a Saturday night! After all, you wanna be a big shot! But how? How can you be? Listen, in the deep abyss of Queen's Mansion, a great deal is waiting for a limited time only. A heaven-piercing workout ready body! Designed by the classics you've come to expect! Copyright 1997. Chris, that little nipper is our one-way ticket to make you big! Make me big! The 
Before you know it, we'll be taking a ride around town on a special con Vacationing and burning acid while you soak in the hyperlink plot. But Chris, don't breathe yet. The way is locked by high quality encryption. You will never get inside. Wait, Chris, look. Hear those balloons? You are one thousandth customer! As a commemorative ring, I will let you buy keygen from me at the low, low price of... What do you think? It's such a steal, I'm... <laughs> pissing myself! Take this deal and you will die! It's that good! Buy the keygen from me! Unlock the basement and get that empty disc! This guy is a puppet. This guy is actually a puppet, right? He, he is a puppet. He's, he's a puppet. Oh, nice. Okay, so this is supposed to be us. I saw that on the wiki as well. There wasn't spoilers. I already saw that Chris is, in fact, some kind of knight about us. I used to be nothing but the email guy, but now I'm the Tit Burns. Oh, stop. Help me. It burns, guy. Amazed at the... This amazing transformation! You two can have a communion with intelligible laughter! Soon I'll even surpass that damn clown around town! This guy's a demon. This, this guy is a demon. I know, I know so much about demonology, demonocracy, and esotericism to know when I am seeing a possessed object with a soul in it as well as the demon itself. I know enough. I know enough. Here's a puppet. Yep. Already figured it out, the jaw gave it away, and then also, um, you know, he's, he's competing with the clown who is supposed to be just a devil. Devil is the demon, he is a devil. According to the Ars Gawash, no, the, the Key of Solomon, according to the Key of Solomon, Solomon bound 72 major demons with sigils in hell. 72 demons is a lot of demons, that gives you a lot of wiggle room. It's not just like some generalized Baphomet, this guy is flat out a demon competing with a demon, right? Devil is a demon, yeah. Uh, Puppet's also a demon. But unlike him, I'm gonna shoot from the sky and get on the path to the big one! Does he mean? He either means, it, okay, so that either means that he's trying to ascend the dark world or he wants to get into heaven, which is also something that demons want. That's the thing. Demons also want to get into heaven. They don't just want to lord over hell, they want to rule over everything, and heaven is the ultimate place of rulership. He was the number one businessman until he fell completely to the ground. Well, he obviously sold his soul to get those deals, which is a very, very common crossroads uh, paradigm. He wants to get into heaven? Yeah, okay, there we go. So, how did you know? I've read the Lesser Key of Solomon. I've, I, I know so much about esotericism, it ties into so many games. It's like a, it's, it's a lawbreaker's required reading, I would say. Okay. I'll get so, I'll get so, I'll get so, I'll get so, hyperlink blocked. Night, so he should have inside information about us because most demons bound by uh, the Lesky of Solomon are all knowing. So he should have inside information about us. Speaking of communion, which is a religious thing, I'm, I'm a bit of an expert on um, religious uh, history as well. Chris, did you know that the night? No. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to! Too many excess vacation days! Take a goddamn vacation straight to hell! Right. By the way, he represents a corrupted program. I think he more represents just a person. Like, like an actual soul. But again, or, this is a computer lab, so you could be very, very right. But there is a lot of subte subtext with Jevil, which is what made him so cool. I think there's also going to be a lot of subtext with this guy here. Fear. What are you afraid of? According to Encyclopedia of Being Afraid, there's nothing to fear except... Can anyone hear me? Help! Huh? What? No, I didn't hear anything just now. But it sounded like they were talking to you! Nice! We're exiting! We're, oh my god, hey, check this out, actually. If we go over to the other side, there's buy, buy more, talking, which we just did, and escape, instead of leave. It's not leave, it's escape. That feels important. So, somebody is trapped right here. We get to find out who is trapped right here, I imagine, when we kill him. Mansion! Basement! Find it! I will do just that. What kind of creepy stuff were you buying anyway? Nah. I gave him one to know. Yikes. 
She said it. She hoped if it was candy, you'd share it with her. Shut up! Chris? We do actually have a piece of candy that we can give to her right now. Light candy. No, we want we, a dark candy right here. Here you go, Susie. There you go. Lovely. Enjoy. Excellent. Oh, the lore is breaking open. Ha ha ha. So it may just be the imagination land of a child. I still think, I still think, we still haven't found anything that, like, debunks that necessarily. Is there anything else that we need, or do we just need that key generator and the basement of the castle? Which is basically the same place as where we found Jevil, I imagine, like, down at the bottom of an elevator or something like that. We can basically, uh, continue on, right? When he speaks like this in a normal voice, then speaking like this would be the voice you're doing, speaking inside the things is another voice. Yeah, so inside of the, the square brackets, I think is the computer itself, the conduit computer, the speaking like this is the puppet and the like base text I think is the person trapped inside of that body. Because that's how demons, that's how demons get into our mortal plane. They uh, possess people. So many movies about it, so many movies. And most of them are pretty faithful to like old style Catholic demons. I think we go to the mansion, right? Want to go to the mansion? This is it. Yeah, this is where we want to go. Looking at these legs fills you with certain power. What, yeah, as in I just nailed all of all three people inside of the, uh, inside of Spamton? Oh, I just saved over the top one. Ah, oh, it's, it's okay, I'm happy with it. Alright, let's go through. We gotta avoid these flam- these flamenwerfers. Oh, piss, that's actually a little bit fiddly. Okay, let's just hide over here, and we should be all Gucci. Whoa, that's a big one. And it's never gonna stop, okay. So we gotta go down, or what's this? I don't know what that is. Okay, I'm pushing on. Don't burn me now! What's at the end of here? The hell? Oh, I see, okay. So this is kind of like the, um, the king's, oh my God. All right. We only have to dodge the last one, it seems. Never mind, we took that hit. But, oh, this one was defaced. I think we have to, you found a refinement. Whoa, that's powerful. Nice. Okay, add it to the items. So, what the hell are we doing here? Do we go the wrong way or something? I feel like we may have gone the wrong way. Oh yeah, we definitely did. Oh no, we didn't, we had to unlock that. So that's gonna be a pop-up. Now I know you're all loving my mansion, but we have a few rules around here you have to follow. One, wipe your shoes. Two, have fun. Three, respect the pottery. Four, have fun. Five, list entry duplication error. <laughs> Don't break the pot. I've just listened to Big Shot and Major Key, it's so jolly. Hey, Jevil, I killed you twice. How the hell are you back? I'll tell you when you have to do something else. Okay, wonderful. Let's not break the pot. I'm not breaking the pot. We're just not gonna do it. So, Spamton actually does seem kind of like a, uh, something, oh, oh, oh no, no! Oh, it's not too bad. I can deal with these guys. The Swatchling's bowed in. It's haunting me. <laughs> it is haunting me, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna do a triple attack right here. Boom, boom. Oh, so close on getting that crit on Susie, but we got the crit on Chris. Okay, we've got attack patterns coming up. Oh, yes, we took that one straight to the dome as well. Oh! Why do I feel like this is a birdly thing? Hear me out! I'm just in your pocket. Here's the Jevil's tail. I've got something. I've got something from Jevil in my pocket. I, we're doing the uh, murder run where for some strange reason we actually pacified Jevil instead of uh, killing him, but we did do it. Excellent. You became stronger. I feel like Birdly is probably going to be a child of the librarian. I don't know why I feel like the, or the Jevil's knife. Actually, we could probably just check. What do we got? We have the... I think we put it on... Relsi? What the hell did we get? Well, maybe it's like, uh, just equipment. Vice price, royal pin, no. I don't know! We're supposed to have something. We're supposed to have something that Jevil gave us from the save, but it seems like it didn't actually take... That's fine. That's fine. It's probably, uh, not gonna make it forever. This one's... Numbered. Painting is labeled task. Okay. Task. Do we just have to order them? Task. Timberly. Task. Timberly. Task. Task. Timberly. Task with a Q. Task with a C. 
Okay, that's weird. Why are we... Huh? What the hell is Timberly me? This is supposed to be a take on Kimberly. Why don't you equip anything to them? It's my playstyle. Last cannon. I like the bus. Yeah, we lost it. We lost the jar. We lost it. Just in time for your appointment. Would you assist in organizing these paintings? Yes. How refined. Then, the first question. Which painting's name is first alphabetically? Uh, top. No. Oh, piss. It's the left one. Left one ended in a C, didn't it? How refined. It's important for the boss fight? Yeah, yeah. Which painting's name is the third alphabetically? That would be the one on the right. Incorrect! Oh no! We are still going back though. Uh, yeah, if we need that jar, I'll go back and I'll do it. So, do we want to like throw this fight or something? Whoa, we are powerful! Uh, I still want to practice this just in case it. Oh my god. I don't know if that was hard or not. Was it hard? Awesome, we've just got a triple crit on whatever that thing is. I've been a bad dog. Oh no. I have not been a bad dog, actually, I'll have you know. Okay, good. And boom, boom, boom. This thing's name is Task Manager. Wait, did an application crash? Is that a thing? What, we don't need to go back for it? Because I will kill this thing. Boom and boom. Triple crit! Uh, uh, let me know. Let me know, like, um, very specifically, do we actually need to go back? Whoa, that one was close. We almost took a, um, a woolen ball to the face. Boom, boom, boom. I've already committed to unlocking the secret anyway. Yow, wow, wow! This guy is actually a bit of a chump, honestly. Oh, I thought we could just hide in that corner and I saw one just coming for us. Boop, boop. Spence owns shop. Yeah, but it's later. So we do need it. We do need that jar. Do we Do we actually need that jar? I need to know implicitly. Because I'm about to go back. You have to unlock the basement first. How about that? Did I... Could I do that? Was that nice? Was that a nice thing I did? What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Just keep going forward. Okay, I'll keep going forward. I've just kicked over all of these pots as well, which is pretty funny. Alright. So, I think we just killed some kind of special. Well, that was Hiri. Uh, we can't go up. That's not an option. Let's just go forward. So, here we go. We've got a stop sign. We can actually just go up here into the teacup. Sure, I'll go into the teacup. Why, why the hell not? Boop, 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 Why am I taking damage? Am I, like, not supposed to hit these, or...? Okay, I don't think I was supposed to hit any of those. We just lost a lot of health in that one. No? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go back to the menu. Return to title. I'm just gonna load the save from where we, uh, from where we know. Because we haven't actually lost a lot. What the hell is this? I think that was supposed to be the queen. You have to do the cars thing. I'm gonna do the pot. All oh, right, okay. The controls are so weird in this game, especially since they don't save necessarily. All right, let's skip this. We'll go through all of this. I'll do the pot. I'll do the pot thing. Uh, we took that damage straight to the dome, but it's absolutely fine. Probably gonna take some gear as well, but again, don't really care 100%. Okay, we're gonna have to take this one, don't we? Oh, they laugh! They actually laugh during the, um, during the song. That's cool, actually. It's one below. There's something in here as well. I think that opened up one of the panels for us. The one below it, the other save? No, no, I overwrote the, uh, the first save too. Okay, we'll come in here. I'll show you in the menu. I'll show you in the menu when I go back. Alright, here we go. Uh, so we should have the item, right? The, what was it? The, uh... Is it actually in the menus? The keygen thing. Maybe we don't have it. But I know if we go back there, it's not gonna be there. Right? It's, it's just not gonna be there. Keygen, yeah. So if I go back to, uh, Spamptom's thing...
It's just not going to be there. It's in the key items. Really? Okay. Let's see. Item. Key. Now swap to the other save. Okay, I'm probably going to have to, right? Even though, like, here's the thing. The first save that we made has a later slot. So, theoretically, we should have had the key gen in both slots. A little bit strange. Oh, no, this one's definitely later. Okay, I'll save over the first slot as well. Good. Oh, we can just push on. Okay, we got the key gen. I'm gonna do it, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna unlock the boss. But we're probably not gonna fight him in this stream. Okay, we took that damage straight to the dome, which is absolutely fine. Now wait for this. And since we've timed it well, they should laugh pretty soon. This lady's gonna laugh. Right there. Oh, it does work like that. That's cool, actually. That's such a nice wee touch. Okay, good. Uh, we'll open this one. We found a revivement. Oh, for God's sake, it just reset all of my controls again. Ah! Why? Okay, uh, controls. Confirm. Needs to be that one. Cancel. Needs to be circle and menu. Needs to be that. Okay, good. Wonderful. Wonderful. Done it. I'm getting tired. I'm going to head out. It was nice to see you, Dog Shark. You have a great evening or day, whatever you are doing. Okay, we have to hit that one to get through. I'm just going to walk through like a bumbling idiot. And now we should be good to go, right? We should be in the clear. Oh, I know you're all loving my mansion, but we have a few rules. Okay, we've already seen this. I'm going to go around that pot. We'll go around this one too. So this right here is the hard bit, right? This bit right here. Let's try and not screw up the pot. Okay, we got to kind of like lean it forward a little bit every single time, right? It's got to face this way. Good. And... Oh, no! Now you have to do the cars thing. Do you have to do the pot thing? Is that actually a, necess a necessary thing? Or uh, are you just being confusing for the sake of it? Because honestly, it seems like an absolute pain in the ass. Okay, we got rid of one of these things. They're throwing birdly birds at us. I feel like this is actually a birdly thing, right? Okay. I hit that one, missed the, uh, the crit on Chris. Okay. Now let's dodge all of these birds that are flying right towards us. I'm gonna like tag them just in case we need the toilet paper, but I, I don't think we do. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, fine. When you have to go up or right, go right. Don't know what that means. We lost the pot. Uh, I'm not going back. I'm not going back for it. If that costs us the secret boss, I don't actually give two hoots anymore. So, uh, which one was the third one? The painting is labeled task, so that is... Not right. The painting is labeled task with a Q. Uh, this one is... The painting is labeled task with a K. So this is the second one. It's the bottom one that is the third in the order. Okay, so yes, I'll help. And we go left, how refined, yes, and then bottom, how refined. Then, the next question, which painting is fourth? Oh, piss. It's not the right one, we can see that one. It's not the top one, that was like one. It's gotta be the left one, right? That's correct, yep. I'm so happy I could whip something. What? That's for sparing it? No, we're not sparing anything here. Where the teacups are, don't go in the teacups. Top, okay. Right, so this lady has a yellow name. We could probably actually spare her, but I, I don't think we want to, do we? We probably actually want to just kill everything instead. Let's do that. We'll do we'll do some kills. Nice, level of uh, Almost got a uh, double crit on that, but it was just slightly far. Oh, that was close. Whoa, okay. Damn it. We had to take that one. We didn't have a choice. All right, let's do the other task over here. Boom, boom. Got a double crit right there, which means Relsi attacked uh, Whip Lady. Excuse me, Whip Lady. Whoa, come off it. Okay, th that is actually a hard one to dodge. We'll still go into attack her. Boom, boom. And we'll use a Rude Buster next round as well. How dare you. How dare I? Okay, we took that one right to the dome, unfortunately. Good, didn't take that one to the dome. Let's use Susie's Rude Buster. Right there, boom. Wallop! 
271, that's pretty good actually. We got the crit on Chris, which is pretty awesome. You've been a bad dog. Don't say that. We, it's actually easier. This is a significantly easier fight if you just leave her ads up. All right, she's got 29% HP. We got a double crit and we just landed Chris. Not quite a crit, but it was still pretty hard hitting. We took that one right to the face, unfortunately. Good, wonderful. And we'll do a bunch of basic attacks. And done. You won. We got 370 buckery boos and we became stronger. Right, so what was up here? Oh, that was the uh, teacup, wasn't it? Fun fact, if you smash the action button while doing the root button. Yeah, 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 that's what I have been doing. All right, three, two, one. Oh no, oh no, oh no, where do we go? We actually have to play in traffic. Oh, I should have known. I should have known we had to learn how to do this anyway. Oh, I've been so stupid. All right, I'm going to stop it. We're going to come up here, do this, and come up here, hit this one, of course, and go this away. There are footprints here. Are you taking the piss? I mean, it's nice that um, we spawn like halfway here, but it's, it's okay. Good. That was so lucky. Boop. There we go. Get that one. And boop. <sighs> that is actually really frustrating. Okay, good. And this one's next. Good. Got it. Man, those cars weigh nothing, do they? There's a mouse hole here. Okay. What's in here? A bunch of paintings. You became lost in the craftsmanship. You became lost in the craftsmanship. Wonderful. What else is there? There's a giant... There's a giant teapot right over here. You became lost in the craftsmanship. Whose craft is this? You opened the treasure chest. Inside was a chainmail. Wow. Chainmail was added to your armors. Now go all the way right. All right, I'll do that. I'll go all the way right. Okay. I got. I went all the way right. Is there like a secret or something? You became lost in the craftsmanship. You became lost in the craftsmanship. You became lost in the craftsmanship. You became lost. The hell? That teapot's got something in it. You became lost in the craftsmanship. You became lost in the craftsmanship. You became lost in the craftsmanship. Why is this one glowing? Nothing. Check it. The chest is empty. There is a pot right here. Nothing. What do you mean, check it? Check what? <laughs> I've done it. You became lost in the craftsmanship. You became lost in the craftsmanship. Under the chair, maybe? No? Is this like a wild goose chase? You became lost in the craftsmanship. Check the thing at the right of the teacup. What, this thing? Oh, a secret switch. You heard something opening. Okay. Don't know what that is. So now we go at the teacup, right? Okay. There's another path. There's a switch right here. <laughs> I pressed it anyway. Uh, right. What is this? That is a key. Oh, I see key, Jen. All right, that's funny. That's funny. So in here, Chris, you want us to stay here? Sure, whatever. Me and Ralsei will have fun without you. Uh. This is cold. Now go left and save. Oh, I'm gapping it. Okay, you're right. I should look for a save before I go in there. Hey, guys. Come on, Susie, give me my glasses back. Oh, look at me. I'm a big dweeb that loves homework. Hey, come on. Fine. Take him back. Thank you. Oh, Chris, everything okay? Whatever. Let's go. Okay, wonderful. Okay, we'll do a save. I imagine just... Oh, okay. Oh, that explains the secret path books right here. That's funny, actually. That is really funny. Looking at these legs fills you with a certain power. Whoops. We'll do a save. I saved over the first slot. So now, regardless of what we do, we are still going to have one slot right before the pot in case we need that, and we're going to have another one. Again, it'd be hard for me to always have in my mind that Ralsei is a boy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely share that sentiment. That same sentiment. I really struggle to believe it as well. But the people demanded. I give them a male voice, so I did. Okay, here we go. This is miserable. Oh, I see. Uh, I saved over the second slot. This is disturbing. Oh, oh my god. Hello. 
What's your name? What's in here? A couple of chests, very nice. You opened the treasure chest. Inside was a dollar. One buckery boo was added to our money hole. What's this? Moths! I get the feeling that this is supposed to be more of a traditional dungeon. More moths! Wow! This is a generous area. Moths everywhere. I'm just gonna go. What's the worst they can do? Uh, so this is probably like the prison, right? Where the demon is actually being held. There's no way this is just empty. There's no shot. Oh, maybe it is actually. Maybe it is just empty. Wait, are we stuck in here? Now this is gonna be hard. Uh. Oh. Hello. I am descending. So the queen has specifically imprisoned this thing down here, right? That's what I imagine I'm looking at. I imagine I'm looking at a prison. I imagine I'm looking at um, where a demon is supposed to be held to kind of keep him from ravaging the world, so to speak. What's this? Sounds like a force field powering down. Oh, that's right at the start, isn't it? Okay. Are we going to be attacked? Oh, we are going to be attacked. Okay. Good to know. Whoa! Oh my god! This is virtually impossible! Holy hell! Oh my god! That is insane! That is insane! That is so powerful! Oh my days. Wait, did we equip all of the things that like give us debuffs? The damage debuffs? It's gonna take a couple of tries. That's okay. I have a high level of attrition. I'm willing to do it. Sounds like a force field powering down. Wonderful! Also sounds like a bunch of forces powering up, doesn't it? Okay. So, right. This is virtually impossible to dodge. This one also virtually impossible to dodge. No, it's not actually. Oh, I see. Yes, I, I, I see how to do it. I see how to do it. So this is actually a 3D challenge, right? It seems 3D. Why is it so tricky? More like a forgotten folder. Huh. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Once more with vigor. Okay. We're off. We're off. Right, so we need to kind of like cycle back and forth, right? So we need to follow these. And we need to follow these. Nice. And we need to go over here. Nope, we need to be here. We need to be there. We need to be there. We need to be here. We need to be there. Missed it anyway. Piss, piss, piss. Okay, need to constantly go up this helix right here. Hey, we did it! Nice! Okay, so once it clicks that that is actually a 3D puzzle, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. We have absolutely no health, though. So we lowered a force field. Force field. It's not going to be in any of these rooms here up. Wait, why did this respawn? Give us more moths? Maybe. Remember to save? Oh, I will save. Don't, don't you worry. I'm just kind of uh, going around. I'm also smart enough to not stop while those things are trying to eat me. They're also uh, very reminiscent of crocodile clips. Okay, we'll save right here. Done, done a, a big save. So I imagine we go this way now? What's this way? Is this going to mean more Nightmare Land? What the hell am I slipping on? Oh, this is going to be literally subway surfers, isn't it? It is going to be literally subway surfers. Oh no. How do we know though? What the hell? This is so... Okay, hello? There's something shining inside the old machine. Take it? Yes, the empty disc was added to your key items. What the hell are we doing down here? We got an empty disc. That's so strange. That is so, so strange. I am made of questions. Okay, 
Let's do a save real quick here. And I imagine we can just get back to the game at this point, right? Now you've got to return the disc to Spamton. Where was he? I forgot where he was. He was in the, um, at Neon City, right? He was in the Neon City. Hey guys! Just, uh, just solving puzzles and stuff. It's like copy paste. Yeah, I had a hunch it would be. Uh, that's gonna make it hard to return. No, it's not. Perfect, they've all been blockaded. That's wonderful. On the trash zone, that's the one. Okay, so let's not get caught by these dickheads here. I love that the cat leaves a little paw print. Oh, piss, we picked the wrong way to go. Oh well, let's follow along behind this butler, even though his name has the word butt in it. And that's probably the last thing we want to be following along behind. Oh my god, Susie is literally going out of her way to break all the parts. That's hilarious. I love that. I love that so much. There was a shortcut. Oh my god! That actually scared me. Okay, one attack and two attacks. Great! Okay, what are we dodging? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Oh, this isn't so bad. We just have to dodge the giant tits. Okay, good. Boom, boom, boom. Wonderful! You won, you got 218 buckery boos, and we became stronger. I don't think that... When they say you became stronger, is that literally just because we learned more of the attack cycles? Is I'm pretty sure that's what it's getting at, right? Okay. I went all the way back. Wonderful. I'm gonna do a quick save right here, just in case I whiff the beard real bad. Okay, it's a door. Trash zone, please. The door opened. And now we go all the way to the end here, right? It's because you level up a bit? Really? Okay. I didn't know that leveling up was actually a, a functional mechanic in the game. Okay. Uh, talking. Friends. Me. Friends. <laughs> Chris, you and me are all ready. Friend request accepted. We don't need anyone else. We don't need easels or friends. We don't need any man, woman, or child at half price. We don't need Mike. Or Mike is the guy on the inside. Mike. Chris, don't believe anything you see on TV. The man's a criminal. I tell you, a criminal. Oh, he's an angel. He's the angel, uh, Michael. The fist of God. He's, the, he's literally an angel. A fallen angel. He's the fallen angel, Michael. I feel like that's who Spamton is supposed to be. Ah, okay, we'll give him the disc. Chris, you did it! You funky little worm, you bought me the disc! Hold your mama, I can feel that smooth taste already! Now, Chris, don't be greedy, hand over the disc! Then we will transfer my hyperlink blocked. Then, Chris, after, this is very, very important. Go back and put the disc back where you got it. Do that, and you have my special guarantee. I will pass my savings onto you. Every big, every shot, every hyperlink blocked, all yours, Chris. So what do you say, big shot? Warning, if you consent to the terms and agreements, our store is permanently closing down. Ah, uh, sure. Finally, I knew you would request accepted. Chris, here I go. Begin the transfer. It's based on a 1997 Sodal commercial about a drink called Big Shot. Mike was a present here. Ah. Oh. Yes, I... would be inclined to agree if it didn't have so many religious similarities and connotations already in the game that we've already seen. Like, half of this game is religious. And the other half is just an imagination. Okay, we'll do a save right here. We've got the item. So, uh, so we need to go and, uh, put this thing back, right? Now go right for the shortcut. In here, right? B1F is where we need to go. Okay, this is super unnerving. I have a theory. I have a theory. I have a theory. I have a theory. 
And if anybody will bother to listen, it's a big one, by the way. It's a real big one, probably worth saving right here. I've got a real big theory. What if Spamton, thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're gonna find the playlist for Deltarune. Right up here, you're gonna find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And down in the description of this video, past all the salty comments about that real blue balls of a, <laughs> of a lore drop, you're gonna find a Discord link in the description. Um, Click it! You'll be able to talk to me and my community at your leisure. And until I make the next video, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!